The Desert Knowledge Australia Bush Products and Local Foods Network links small and medium-sized businesses from five regions of Desert Australia. Kalgoorlie in Western Australia, Mount Isa in Queensland, Broken Hill in New South Wales, the Upper Spencer Gulf and Flinders Ranges in South Australia and Alice Springs in the Northern Territory. This network is truly diverse. It brings together primary producers, bush product wholesalers, food manufacturers, specialist retailers, caterers, restaurants specialising in regional cuisine, bush product manufacturers such as paper makers and also medicinal plant growers. The network is one of the four industry networks established through Desert Knowledge Australia's Linked Business Networks project. There's already people out there that are doing things and it's really helped me to, um, yeah, to network and get some great ideas. I'm, at the moment I'm actually working with Athel Walk. Um, he's a celebrated chef. He's travelled all over the world actually showcasing bush foods. Um, I've also met up with Fran, who's another lady that's getting into producing uh, some, bu working with bush tomatoes as well. And I've also had the opportunity to, um, to meet and talk with the actual bush, the wild harvest ladies, the ladies that do all the harvesting. So I've met some really great people and made some really good uh, yeah, networks. Yeah, working with Raylene, I had the good fortune of uh, meeting her while I was at Lasseter's Casino and uh, yeah, through Beard Kellers who had met her at the races and told me all about Raylene and uh, Gina and a few other ladies too and it was just amazing to have met them and since then we've had a great relationship and journey and uh, being able to share and to trust and have that uh, experience too and bounce off uh, knowledge and information and uh, I guess just pioneer as well and to have that enthusiasm I firmly believe working with like-minded people sort of generates more enthusiasm. Business depends on contacts, customers and critical mass. In the outback of Australia, all three can be a challenge. The response of the Bush Products and Local Foods Network was to use technology to bring producers and customers together. In 2006, during the Australian Innovation Festival, 11 members of the cross-border business network presented their products at a virtual trade fair. Potential customers sampled the products whilst hearing presentations directly from the producer via video conferencing. This was a way that the businesses could bring their product to new customers without having to leave home. One business involved in the virtual trade fair was Bell's Milk Bar from Broken Hill. After this project, Jason King from Bell's joined Peter Yates from Outback Bush Foods in Alice Springs to market their products and the cross-border network at the Restaurant 06 Expo in Sydney. Later, Jason stated, Our involvement with the Desert Knowledge Network has made a big difference to the speed at which the syrups and cordials arm of Bell's has developed. Both Restaurant 06 and the Virtual Trade Fair have proved great catalysts to develop the products and the support from DKA has provided an opportunity which would otherwise have been beyond my scope as a small business. I'm Peter Yates and I have two businesses that are based in Alice Springs. One is Outback Bush Foods and the focus of Outback Bush Foods is to work with uh, some hundreds of Indigenous women across Central Australia who harvest various bush foods, principally um, bush tomatoes, Solanum centrale, and various species of wattle seed and I market that, I consolidate and market that um, those products into the eastern states and also overseas. Another example of collaborative projects generated through the Bush Products and Local Foods Network is a guide to the Central Australian Bush Foods. Identifying a gap in the market, researchers and businesses work together to produce this guide. It informs tourists and locals about the history of Aboriginal people's involvement in this part of the local food industry and where you can see, taste, buy and learn more about these bush foods. I thought, why not 
we start producing some products here from Central Australia, our own products, and um, you know, keeping some of the the money here and, and getting employment opportunities. And so we thought about you know making some chutneys, uh, pestos, um, and basically using it in my catering business as well. So hopefully they'll be on your uh, market shelf very soon. So I'd love to see some more Indigenous young um, people coming becoming into the industry and getting them to learn and. Um, and getting them to know, um, especially the Indigenous kids, because this is something that's been part of their history and um, getting there to be able to get a job out of that I think is just a great opportunity. It's very important that we have a, a wide network of people involved and I think the industry is big enough that it can carry so many different people and identities and that's the beauty of it, that uh, there's always opportunity for all involved and uh, excitement to learn and to share. In Alice Springs, a Bush Foods Wild Foods recipe competition began in 2005, initiated by members of the local network. By 2006, the competition had become a signature event of the Alice Desert Festival and continues to grow. Consumer demand for Bush Foods and Wild Foods is a growing sector of the economy, with foodies finding out exactly what can be eaten, where to find it, how to prepare it. Food merchants in Central Australia are increasingly introducing these products into Western cuisine markets and the general public. The Bush Foods Wild Foods competitions, including this year's culinary competition and culinary challenge with local restaurants, is an important part of helping to develop that market. I read about the Bush Food Wild Foods competition um, and thought that was a fantastic concept and thought, okay, what can I do? Um, and I uh, entered quite a few <laughs> categories that year and came up um, just sort of uh, by chance really, I was making something else with a bush tomato paste which entered the finals and it's a great product. It's about 95% bush tomato so there is a little bit of an issue there as far as uh, if there's not enough bush tomatoes to be harvested. Um, bush tomatoes uh, come from um, communities where the women pick them directly and so I do make sure that there's that indigenous contact with them at all times. I guess just that sharing of knowledge and information and uh, for everyone to benefit from uh, uh, the future outcomes of this uh, wonderful wild food movement. I'm just so proud to be a part of that as well. I'd love to see a lot more indigenous chefs cooking indigenous foods. <laughs>